Hi there, for today's video, we are going to be reviewing realistic fiction. Realistic fiction is stories that are made up, but could happen in real life. We're going to go over the characters and setting and events, and then watch a little video on the process in making a realistic fiction story. So characters, people act and talk like real people. Animals act like pets or other real animals. The setting. The setting is a place that could be real in today's world. And then events. The events could really happen. Characters have problems that real people might have. For example, maybe you lost um, your pencil. That's a real problem that someone could have. Then the problems get resolved. Okay, let's go ahead and watch a little video on the process in making a realistic fiction story. All right, so let's go ahead and go this is episode two, episode two we watched episode one yesterday realistic fiction writing for kids episode two Brain make it louder so this is episode two brainstorming please pay attention because we are going to be brainstorming later on for our activity Now that you know what realistic fiction is, you can start brainstorming ideas for your story. Remember, so right here. Realistic fiction, a genre or type of writing. Realistic seems real, fiction, but it's not real. Brainstorming ideas for your story. Brainstorming just means thinking of different ideas. We will brainstorm the most important parts of the story, the characters, the setting, the problem, and the solution. Then we will add more details when we actually start writing the story later. So first, I need to think about the main character in my story. Characters are the people and animals in a story. Remember, the characters should be realistic. Sometimes it helps to make the character kind of like yourself. Hmm. I think I will write about a little girl and her dog. I will name them Mary and Sam. Next, I need to decide on a setting. The setting is where and when the story takes place. It has to be realistic, though. I think I want to make my story take place outside on a snowy day. Now, I need to think of a problem. What could really happen to a little girl and her dog on a snowy day? Ooh, maybe Mary slips on the ice and Sam gets loose. That would definitely be a problem. Finally, I need a solution to the problem. How will that problem be solved in the end? Maybe a stranger will see Sam and he'll lure him with a piece of food from his grocery bag. And then Mary and Sam can go home to be warm and safe. Wow, I think this is going to be a great story. Now that I have a plan, check out episode three to see how I start right. Okay, so that is her brainstorming. Um, that's her brainstorming her story for realistic fiction. Are you ready to help me brainstorm for my realistic fiction? I need you to pay attention because later on you are going to be brainstorming for your activity. So let's go ahead and go ahead and get started. All right, so for your activity, you are going to be doing the same thing. So when we get to the activity uh, section, I'll have one of these filled out for you and you can copy it down and then begin your brainstorming for your realistic fiction story. So character. I'm thinking I want two characters. I'm going to draw a little picture. And I would like for you to label so your teacher can read what you're writing. This is going, her name is going to be Alice. And then I'm going to have another character. His name is, his name is going to be Fred. So my characters are named Fred and Alice. And they're people. They're not creatures. They're not animals. They're people. Is um That's okay for realistic fiction. You want people to act like people and animals to act like animals my setting i think i'm going to it's going to be a park 
Oopsie. That's a sun. Clouds. Little birds. You can write right here, park. Remember, label. So here are my characters, Alice and Fred. This right here is park. Um, my problem. I'm going to, you can draw your problem. My problem is going to be, I'm going to write mine though. Alice dropped her cookies on the ground. So I dropped her cookies on the ground. Now all the cookies are, um, it's me cookie. Um, now the cookies are dirty. They have dirt on them, so she can't eat them anymore. So this resolution I'm trying to draw cookies. Um, Fred gives Alice some of his cookies, and then Alice is happy again. Okay, so my characters, Alice and Fred, those are they're they're people. They're gonna act like people. Park, that's a real setting that would be found in today's world. Problem, Alice dropped her cookies on the ground. That's a problem that someone could actually have, right? You could be eating and then, oops, the bag of cookies fall on the ground. Now they're dirty. You can't eat them anymore. The resolution, how the problem is fixed. Well, um, my solution to my story is Fred shares some of his cookies with his friend Alice. And then, boom, she's smiling again. She's happy. Okay, so... This is my little brainstorming for my realistic fiction story. Later on, you are going to have the opportunity to make your own brainstorming page, brainstorming page for your realistic fiction story.